What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bobby and in today's video, I will show you how to automate custom price quotes. Let's jump right in. 85% of consumers say that price is the most important factor when deciding where to shop. But how can you help them make the right decision when you can't display the custom prices on your website? There are many types of businesses that simply just cannot do that. If you're selling shoes, all colors and sizes can be the same price. But if you're cleaning office spaces or installing solar panels, size does matter. Cleaning companies, builders, corporate software, wedding planners, and many other businesses need flexible pricing models. They can't just find a shoe that fits, they need to build a brand new shoe for each client. If your business sends price quotes, listen up, this is gonna blow your mind. The whole thing can be fully automated. I'm talking set it and forget it. Full customer journey automation. Are you ready? Because this is gonna be a super fast process. This is how you, yes, you, not a developer that you hired, how you can build a custom price quote calculator. You can put it on your website or pin it on your social media. Step one is to pick a template. So I'm going to go to involve me to grab a template um, and under categories, I will click on custom price quotes and I will select the solar panels personalized quote. If you want to edit this template, you will need to create a free account just so it can save all your changes somewhere where no one else can access it but you. So I will click on choose and then I will start editing. Step two, customize the design. Now that we're editing this template, there's a lot of things we can do. First, I'm going to add my logo. I'm just going to drag and drop the image content element at the top of the screen. And then I will drag and drop the Involve Me logo in here. I will also just adjust the size so it's a little bit smaller. And then I will click on save and close. I love how that looks. You can of course also change the background, the layout, the fonts. You can even upload your own font if you'd like. So the design customization is pretty impressive here. Step three, customize functionality. Once you're happy with the design, let's move on to the functionality. Namely, how do we make this pretty thing into a price calculator? This is the intimidating part because math, but don't worry, I got you. You already know the factors that affect your price. So turn those factors into questions. Keep it as simple as possible. You don't wanna scare people away by using too many technical terms. Ask multiple choice questions. I like using images for this because it makes it even easier to pick and much more fun. As you can see, the first question here, what shape does your roof have, already has images inserted in there and also has text underneath it. To do that, all you have to do is drag and drop the image answer content element onto the page and then you are able to upload images and also have text underneath it. Super, super simple. Now, I know you're wondering, how do these images turn into prices? Calculators can only count numbers, right? Wrong. You can attach numbers to anything and involve me. Now for the magic trick and probably why you clicked on this video. I'm going to show you how to attach price tags to each selectable answer. So just click on the question and then scroll down to where it says answers. Under each answer, you will see that there is a value box. Just click on the question and then scroll down to where it says individual score and calculation. You will need to check this box to turn it on. This makes it possible to enter numbers for each answer. As you can see, as soon as you turn on the individual scoring calculations, the value at the bottom of an answer is now available to switch. Before, if you have it turned off, you are unable to click it. Now my images can have custom price tags, which means I can use them to calculate the overall price. Not too shabby, eh? Step four, enter your own calculator formula. This part is just math, so if that's your strong suit, you can click off now. Congratulations, you are very smart. For the rest of us, this is how you make your own calculator formula. Go to the final page of your calculator and drag and drop a calculator element in. Now, if I click open formula builder, I can enter my formula in here. To make the formula, you can use any numbers from any of the previous questions you have entered. You can see the name of the question and on what page you ask it. If your question doesn't show up here, it's because you didn't enter a number for that specific question, or your clients can't enter a number themselves. Like a form field asking for their email, you can't calculate much with that. 
drag and drop your questions to create whatever formula you want and math symbols you can simply enter in on your keyboard. Once your formula is done, please, please make sure to test it. If something goes wrong, you want to be the first person to notice it, not your clients. To test your calculator, click on design preview and try it at the top of your screen. This is what your clients will see, so have a look before you show them. Or maybe check it like three or four times, maybe five. Step five, email gate. I believe asking for email is only okay if you're giving something in exchange. The value we're exchanging here is a custom price quote catered for each client's needs. So in this case, it's definitely worth it. Besides, these emails are prospects doing price research, so you definitely want to add those to your marketing list. To do this, drag and drop a contact form onto one of the pages before showing the results of the calculator. And that's it, now your calculator is email gated. Step six, set up emails and tracking. Once you've tested everything, hit the publish button at the bottom of your screen and you'll be taken to a page where you can adjust the URL, set up automated emails, custom price sharing text and images for social media or additional tracking on Facebook Pixel, Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager. A pro tip for you is hide the results of the calculator and send it to your prospects via email. This way you can introduce your sales team and start a conversation in a more personal way. Email is the biggest driver of sales, which is why Involve Me has a really quick way that you can set this up. Under email notifications, you can customize the email that your prospects receive. To add the calculator price in here, all you have to do is press the plus button in the email box and then scroll down until you find calculator. And then there you go. Now your price is included in the email. Final step, it's alive. Once your calculator is live, you will get a link, a short link, a QR code that you can use in print and also an embed code so you can integrate this into your website. If you've never embedded anything in your website, this is the perfect thing to start with. Here's the embed code and here's where I can edit how the embed behaves. See how these are two separate places? That's so I can't mess up the code. I can make the embed narrow or make it cover the whole screen. That's up to you. And that's it. That's how you make a custom price quote calculator for your website, social media, or email. Go ahead, grab a template and start creating. To help you out, we also have a discount code where you can get two months for free after creating an account. So make sure to take advantage of that and build your custom price quote calculator. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That would really help us out. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you're notified every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.